play any sport, you should be lively on your feet. Golf is no exception. Foot action determines so many things within the golf swing that it's almost indescribable. Balance, timing, tempo, rhythm, all the things that are necessary in being able to do all the other things that you need to do in a golf swing. Your feet must remain lively and they must work. Now let me show you how Jack Grout taught foot action to me when I was a youngster. He started with the short golf clubs and he told me to roll my ankles, roll my left ankle in, roll my right ankle in, roll my left ankle in, roll my right ankle in. And as the clubs got longer, he then allowed the heels to start to leave the ground because he said he wanted to make sure that my hips remained level throughout the golf swing. So as the clubs got longer, I came a little bit off the ground with my left heel, a little bit off the ground with my right heel. Let me show you three golf clubs and three shots and how I think they should go with these clubs. This is a pitching wedge. And with a pitching wedge, my heels will pretty much remain on the ground. My, heel, my right heel will come off the ground just a bit at the finish. Now, with a five iron, you notice that my swing is a little bit longer, my stance is a little bit wider, and my heel will get pulled just slightly off the ground on the back swing, my left heel, and my right heel a little bit on the follow through. And now, with a driver, this is about as far as your heel should get pulled off the ground. Understanding foot action can be really a big help to you. The average golfer tries to make his feet either the dominant part of his swing or no part of his swing. Let me show you both of them. Here's the first guy who really thinks, boy, I said I'm going to make sure my feet work. Well, he's all over the place. The second guy, well, he doesn't understand foot action at all, but he's, going to, he's heard that you want to make sure that your feet are planted well on the ground. Well, obviously, neither fella is the fella that you want to describe when you're hitting a golf ball. The feet must be active, they must be lively, but they're not overactive and they're not still. They must react with the rest of your body and flow. Your, as your swing goes back, your feet are pulled back. As your feet go forward, your feet react with your body. That way, your timing, your balance, and everything else in the golf swing will happen together.